Hope you're doing good. Michael back with another video. Back here with some more watch bands for the Apple Watch Ultra. And shout out to Pataka for sending these out. Links will be down in the description box. Their Pataka or Pataka's carbon fiber bands or chroma carbon fans are really available for all of their Apple watches in general. So all you gotta do is really buy it once and then attach it to any of your watches. And that's what's really nice about Pataka is a lot of these products in particular are very flexible across the line. You don't have to buy multiple of them. And that's very, very good to see. And so with the Apple Watch Ultra here, the first one I actually really want to check out is this one right here. This is the Raft City watch band. Looks very clean. This definitely will look good with the Apple Watch Ultra 2 in that new, you know, what is it called? Gray or space gray titanium or whatever. In other words, the black color that they just dropped. So we're going to get into this box here. What a beautiful watch band it already is. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Just like that. Go ahead and slide it on out. And then grab this here. And there it is. Nice and lightweight, as it should be. I mean, it's, it weighs lighter than the packaging. That's how nice a the packaging also is. These are your connectors right here and or additional connectors if you need to connect it to something bigger like the apple watch ultra or maybe smaller like the apple watch 40 millimeter you know soon to now be for 42 and a 46 millimeter size apple watch series 10 you have that ability with these here and so that's what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and attach it and I, of course as usual i usually have to swap out links i usually have to drop about three or four just so it fits me just fine and i have to remember how to actually swap these out on here because I have to resize my older ones as well. But without further ado, let's get this onto the watch. So here we are with the Apple Watch Ultra. We're gonna go ahead and grab one of these sides here and go ahead and just slippity slide it right on in like so. Let's get this side in here as well. Very, very tight connection. There we go. And just like that, it's on there, gives it a nice clean contrast with the black multicolor on the titanium body and what's easy is you just press this and it should separate just like so and i probably will have to reverse sides on this of course but this is what i would do and so probably just for the sake of this video i'm gonna have to remove my galaxy watch now this is always uh, and you see it's already trying to connect it just connected the wrong way so oh you know what? i actually might be good with yeah so as you guys can see Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna have some watch bands removed, but this is what it would look like otherwise on the watch, looking very, very clean on the wrist. And so, and what I like about Pataka's chroma carbon bands and, 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 and carbon fiber bands in general is it's very light and they feel very good against your skin. And so that's something that you will not miss out on or, or not have a problem with when wearing Pataka's bands on your Apple Watch. All right, the next band is this one right here, which is nice. The Aramid and Carbon Fiber Band, Poetry of Things, Moon. And so this one has more of a blue aesthetic to it, which looks very, very nice. I would actually like to get these, unless these are just wallpapers, these uh, watch faces look pretty nice as well. New tech and style, compatible with Apple Watch Series 8, SE, and Ultra. I, I don't know why I blanked out right there. And as you see, lightweight, comfortable, magnetic class for security lock chroma carbon unique and fancy and so you definitely can't go wrong with something like this and the packaging is just so so stellar so upon sliding this out here and then boy they just they know presentation they know presentation indeed you open this up you're greeted with pataka oh man just beautiful and then just go ahead and that's what I would do. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and I also like the fact that they also kind of show you right here how to remove the links, which is very nice. But I also needed a reminder so I could do that for all of these bands on my end. Use Pataka's tool, which looks like it should be provided in here, to actually separate the links. So that way you can adjust for your personal wrist size. And here we are with the blue. And wow, this looks very clean as well. As a matter of fact, because you're technically supposed to use these pull tabs. But I didn't do that because I was a little impatient. Now, I believe if I go ahead and figure out how to open this as well. 
this is where you will find that personal tool so let's just go ahead and set the bands down set the band down grab the other band here pull it on out so that way we have it nice and available bada boom bada bing bada bang throw these out because we don't need them upon opening this here unless and there's nothing in here because it's kind of it feels a little empty and it's looking a little empty unless the tools on the other end oh that's it right there oh no 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 oh, ha, ha, ha. that is the other size for the watch band connector i'm just not good at opening these little things here so unfortunately i'm struggling but all i do is slide it out look at that and so as you guys see that's the tool right there to do the customization and here are your additional watch band clips just in case you need just for a smaller size so good to see here i don't, won't have to worry about this because i have the biggest watch right now so this is what i'm going to deal with and this is the tool from pataka looks ever so fire shout out to pataka man so this is what i'm going to use to actually customize my watch and you also get an additional uh band link you do with the other one that i showed you just before the rhapsody band you get one of these with all of theirs as well just in case you have a slightly bigger wrist and so now upon removing the rhapsody let's check out the the moon look because i'm very excited for this one come on slide on now bada boom and one of the things you may not know but i will recommend is whenever you're sliding these in Keep in mind that you want the black facing up and the metal piece facing down or the metal piece facing towards the wrist. So that way, you know, once it's, you know, that uh, I think I think it's for the magnetic uh, aspect of it, but uh, don't hold me to it. Now, I'm just here to report what you need to do. And as you see, it slides right on in. Oh, that looks clean. That looks so clean. Sliding on in. Just like so. And as you guys can see there, it's got a nice, accurate connection. Bada boom, bada bang. And then, of course, you want to put it on like so. You should be able to. And since it's so doggone big <laughs> on my wrist, it should not be hard for me to go ahead and connect this in some way, shape, or form. Just like so. As you guys can see, that's what it would look like on the wrist looks very very clean so shout out to pataka for sending these out and again look at hooking you guys up with links in the description box below that is it for the apple watch ultra let me know do you guys use pataka bands have you ever used them before what's your favorite type of watch band for your watch the comment section is open for discussion but again as always if you guys haven't already make sure to ignite the like button subscribe to the channel the notification bell it's all free that way it's for videos so you and i can sit back check see what's cracking and don't forget to hit that super thanks button down there by the like and dislike button. Cash out and PayPal and check the channel out for all the videos available to you. That's where to keep tech fresh and alive on this channel. So, man, Mike is signing out until the next video. Wait for it.